the nighttime stretches that I'm going to share with you are to help you transition from most likely having been in a seated position for several hours, sometimes watching TV, coming home late from a long drive, whatever it is, most of our time is spent in sitting into the evening. So transitioning and opening up and also transitioning ourselves from rush, rush, rush to a more calm state, which is what sleep invites. So I like to sit perched and that just means hips a little higher than your knees, which aligns your spine. So if your bed provides you with that or the arm of a chair, something where you're just sitting nice and tall, I'm going to start by transitioning our breath and being aware of using our diaphragm. And as we take our breath in, feeling the rise of the abdominal wall. And as you exhale, just a slow release. Lovely. We're gonna incorporate that now with a lift of the shoulders towards the ears, inhaling and exhaling as you bring the shoulders down and back. Inhaling up and exhaling back and around. And we'll do this one more time. And back and around. For those of you who don't know me, I'm going to have you invite your arms behind. My name is Margaret Martin. I'm a physical therapist, registered, um, and also certified strength and conditioning specialist. I really love to help people age well through exercise. And this is the intent, is helping you sleep better because our sleep is so very important. You might find just having placed your arms behind you with your fingers spread wide, that you're getting a little stretch through the fingers, through the front of the chest. That's all wonderful. Now, if you're feeling a strong stretch, I want you to slide your hands just to your side before you continue what we're going to do next. Otherwise, you can keep your arms back. Think nice and tall. Breath in, long through your spine. Exhale as you bring your ear over your shoulder. And then inhale back nice and tall. And we'll repeat twice more to the same side. As you're bringing your ear to your shoulder, think less about collapsing to the side and more about elongating as though your ear is trying to, top ear is reaching to the sky. Inhale back nice and tall. And exhale. Nice. All your stretches should feel really comfortable. Before bed is not a time to stress your body. So ensure that you just go down as far as you feel a nice gentle stretch. And then back up. My thumbs are wanting to fight the stretch. You might find that as well with all the texting that we do and typing that even the web space between the thumb and index finger can benefit from nighttime stretching. Good, and one more time, breath in and exhale, ear to shoulder. Very nice. When we spent a lot of time sitting, our hip flexors get tight. And so we're going to take the stretches down to the bed. I encourage you to do this outside of the sheets, um, you know, so to stay on your comforter. However, if transitioning back and forth is difficult for you, then by all means, you can do this underneath the sheets or before you draw them over you. All right, when you go down, it's always safest for your back to go down through the elbow first, and then coming down on your shoulder before you roll over. Now, you'll notice I landed specifically without having my head on the pillow. But then again, I don't use a pillow to sleep at night. I have weaned myself gradually from using a pillow, but by all means, if you use a pillow, please have it there. Um, Try to minimize how much pillow you use, especially when doing these nighttime stretches, because again, so often our head comes forward during the day. 
So it's a really nice opportunity to just realign and gently stretch the muscles in the back of the neck and also to be able to stretch the muscles of the chest wall. You likely have a wider bed. Right now I'm on my treatment table. So allowing your upper arms to come away from your body here so you get a nice stretch through the chest wall. And we're just gonna spend three delicious breaths just holding this, elongating. So I'm not gonna just hang because my elbows are really mobile and many of you are the same. So just think more of reaching. So my right arm is reaching as far to the right as I can. My left arm is reaching and you're just gonna feel this delicious elongation across your chest wall. You might be very tight and find that just this little bit of a stretch is pulling your back up. So if that's the case, just engage your abdominals a little bit to keep your back gently tucked. Nice. Keep your breath relaxed and even beautiful. All right. We're going to now bring the hands up so that our hands are resting just by the ears. Again, if you're on a pillow, that's perfectly fine. And you might be grateful for that because it's you'll find how that changes the stretch. If you're resting on a pillow, then you'll have a little bit less intensity of a stretch. But that might just feel perfect for you. All right. So, as I mentioned, we're going to invite some opening of the hip flexor. So taking a breath in, and then exhale as you bring your knee towards your chest. The stretch actually happens as we elongate or straighten the opposite leg. So by bringing the left leg up first, my right hip flexor gets to stretch because it's actually attached from the spine and pelvis and then into the thigh. So again, nice, full and relaxed breath. You can either hold with both hands or if you really enjoyed this arm stretch, you have to have one out and one holding while you open up through here. Good, one more full, delicious breath. And then you're gonna invite the right foot to come up and then release the left breath in, exhale, bringing the right knee up this time, and allow the left to go all the way straight. And it's not unusual that you feel tighter on one side than the other. It's more natural actually to have asymmetries in your body than to be perfectly symmetrical. So if you do find you have one side a little tighter, you might just want to spend a little bit more time there, holding that stretch for a few more breaths. So let's just take one more full deep breath in and out. Lovely breath in, exhale. As you keep the tummy muscles tight and you pull the knee up, and invite the other knee down. Now you might be wondering why I've had this rolled up blanket beside me and that's because it's gonna help us with our next little stretch. I'm gonna slide it down so it's just adjacent to my knee. I'm going to invite my arms back up here and if that's comfortable for you, um, if it's not, then you can lower down closer to a 45 degree angle again, just to start opening up through the chest wall. I'm gonna take a breath in, exhale, press your heels into the table and just, or into your bed, and just glide your pelvis an inch or two to the right. Taking a breath in, you're going to exhale as you allow your knees to rock over and rest on that rolled blanket or pillow that you have beside. And you're gonna invite your gaze to the opposite side. So we're getting a gentle rotation through the spine. And again, 
I can't tell you how deep to go for you. So I'm going to suggest that you do play it safe and use a rolled blanket or pillow beside you. If you have neck issues, you might find that you want to just keep your gaze straight up. Please listen to your body as you do this video because it's so very important. We're all so very unique and different in our abilities and our flexibility. So breath in, exhale as the knees come back up to midline. Excellent. We want to reposition our pelvis back to the center. If we have back pain, so very important through all the moves to brace the back. And that means that you're doing your moves through the exhale. When I'm talking and shooting video, I will try to say it as often as possible, but if I don't say it, it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. All right, you've moved the pillow or the rolled blanket to the opposite side. And so I'll walk you through, if I'm gonna ask, get you to lift your pelvis, we would take a breath in. Exhale, as you're exhaling, you're blowing out, keeping everything nice and tight. So you're bracing your back as you shift. Because I know those of you with vertebral compression fractures or disc issues, just the shift can be very painful. So we take a breath in. Again, exhaling as you're gently rotating, allowing the knees to rest off and be supported by the pillow or roll. And if it's comfortable for you to gaze all the way in the opposite direction, and again, having your arms at whatever position feels just really delicious for you, actually. That it feels like this is such a nice nighttime stretch. Nice, full, deep breaths with your diaphragm in and out. With every exhale, I want you to invite a release scanning your body for anywhere you might be holding tension allow that tension to fully sink into your bed and away from your body lovely nice breath in exhale knees back to the sky lovely breath in exhale as you shift your health back to neutral lovely now we're gonna make use of the pillow that's under your head or over your head. And if your shoulders are flexible enough for this, great. If not, you can add another uh, support. You might want to use this roll up and over your head so that you can support your arms if they're feeling tight. So whichever option works for you. Breath in. And exhale as you bring your right leg down and you're going to stretch your right heel far and away from you. You're going to stretch your right elbow far and away from you. So you are going to be looking to, and I'm going to do this without the pillow or blanket here because I'm afraid I'm just going to lose it. You're looking to lengthen the whole right side of your body. So often we will sleep with either a pillow under our legs if we're back sleepers, or we will sleep in fetal position. And so you're literally just going from a sitting position back to a sitting position on your bed or where knees are bent and hips are bent. So it's so important to stretch everything out. Breath and release. Lovely. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Breath in, exhale as you invite your left arm overhead, left leg stretching out. And over the next few breaths, just nice and easy, elongate the whole left side of your body. Giving yourself permission to take slower, deeper inhalations, and slower and longer exhalations. Good. 
One more full deep breath in. And as you exhale, sliding the knee back up and the elbow back up. Lovely. If you are set to just go to bed from here, excellent. Um, I'm going to roll over. I invite you to do the same thing. I'm assuming you're still having to get under your blankets. Breath in. Exhale as you roll as one. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale as you press up. Lovely. Now one more thing before going to bed and it's so very important to just leave your worries behind and so as you are drifting to sleep rather than think of to-do lists think about three things that were so very special in your day or three people that are special in your life and with that i wish you sweet dreams so if you're looking for more ideas on how to sleep well i really encourage you to look at my sleep playlist that's going to provide you with so many more ideas on just positioning in bed and, and more to allow you to have great sleep and a healthier life. Keep well.